What's happening? I'm Brian Tong and welcome to a little show we call the Apple Bite for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. The 3D revolution is happening whether you guys like it or not and Apple's making sure they'll be a part of it. Now do you really think Steve Jobs likes wearing those silly glasses? Well the Cupertino kids were recently granted a patent for a method that projects a 3D image without glasses. An image would be projected onto a reflective surface, then bounce into a viewer's left eye and right eye separately, creating the 3D effect. It could also sense the location of both eyes of a viewer, and multiple people could watch from a variety of angles. Redonkulous. Now, could you imagine the apple bite in 3D? Come on! Gross! We would get so many more viewers. Now, iOS 4.2 has been out for a couple of weeks now, and it's been revealed by Nokia Siemens Networks that the new OS supports technology to reduce network congestion and improve battery life at the same time. It's called Network Controlled Fast Dormancy Technology, and it puts your phone in an intermediate state so it can wake up more quickly, conserve more battery, and reduces the number of signals needed to start a data connection. NCFD has to be implemented on a network to take advantage of it, but this could really help lighten the load on AT&T and also make Verizon look really good if its network sees little impact from the iPhone when it arrives. Now, AirPlay has been a feature people were drooling over in iOS 4.2. There's no doubt it's innovative, but I find it slow to display full movies and media content like videos in Safari, videos you recorded with your iPhone camera, or media in third-party apps can't be viewed from your device to your TV, so it makes for an inconsistent and half-baked experience. SJ addressed the issue to her Mac Rumors reader through what else but Steve Mail, and he said, yep, hope to add these features to AirPlay in 2011. Now, most of us aren't using Ping anymore, but now there's a reason to for a day. Michael Jackson's new posthumously released track, Much Too Soon, is being streamed exclusively through MJ's profile page, even though the service is still too little too late. Now in iPad news, or you could call this one a rumor right now, Digitimes is reporting that Taiwan sources are claiming that Largon Precision is the sole supplier of the lens modules for the next iPad. There's no word of how many megapixels we'll see, or if it will be a front-facing, rear-facing, or both, but we're really close to having iPads replacing cameras. Look good. Give yeah, me Tiger. Look good. Okay. OS Tiger. Give me Tiger. Yeah. Oh, a naughty Tiger. Yeah. Naughty <laughs> Tiger. Your MacBook crash. You're sad. Give me sad. Oh, right there. Or not. Now, over the holiday break, Patently Apple's website showcased Apple's new iPad design patent that confirms a landscape dock connection in addition to the dock connector that's currently there. It opens up a whole new ecosystem of accessories, so it's a strong bet that we'll see this in the next-gen iPad. All right, let's take a breather and check out a few tricks you might not know about that you can do with your iPhone. Hi, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'm here to show you how to make the most of your iPhone with some useful shortcuts and tricks. Longtime and recent parents of iPhones, listen up. I guarantee you didn't know at least one of these useful tips. So you know your iPhone is equipped with a very useful alarm, stopwatch, and timer. What you may not know is that you can use that timer to put your iPod in sleep mode. Open the clock app, select timer, and adjust it to the duration you'd like the music to play before it shuts off. Then tap when timer ends. Scroll to the top and select sleep iPod. Click set, start the timer, and play your music. A lot of you iPhone users are aware that you can zoom in on an email, photo, or web page by double tapping with one finger. Well, this function isn't always available, especially within apps. So go to Settings, General, and select Accessibility. Click Zoom and slide it to On. Now you can zoom in anywhere by double tapping with three fingers. And like every phone, the iPhone is equipped with a calculator for doing all the simple calculations like adding and subtracting. But those of you who need more advanced functions, like finding the square root of a number or using exponents, can turn to the built-in scientific calculator. Just rotate your phone to landscape mode and voila! Well, there you have it. A few tips to help you use your iPhone to its full potential. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vaknin. See you next time. Well, hello. Thanks for the tip, Sharon, and I will be looking forward to more of them. Now on to the quick bites, guys. A recent report by ChangeWave has found that Apple continues to gain share in the e-reader market, while Amazon's Kindle loses it. 
The iPad jumped from a 16% share in August to a 32% share in November, while the Kindle dropped 15 percentage points from 62 to 47 in that same time. The iPhone has finally just edged out RIM's BlackBerry for smartphone market share in the U.S. by just half a percent. The Nielsen Company study also found that females lean relatively strongly to the iPhone over Android as their most desired phone, while men, on the other hand, tend to prefer an Android phone. Well, what does that say about me? Hey, we need you in the studio right now. Come on, no. let's go. But my eyeliner... Oh. Forget the eyeliner. Come on, Come on. let's go. And in one of the best replications of Steve Jobs you'll ever see, MIC Gadget's SJ figurines immediately sold out of their first run of 300. It features his smirk, the black mock turtleneck, blue jeans, and New Balance shoes. You can even write your favorite sayings on speech bubble cards. But like all things, it was just too good to be true, and the big A forced them to stop selling the figurines, citing copyright infringement. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Send your emails to the theapplebytecnet.com. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week for another Bite of the Apple. Oh, naughty tiger. Oh.